Hey, what's going on? Um, if you want to be in the mentorship program, the first round, we're getting ready to shut it down. So there's only a few more spots available. The links below in the first comment, go to the webinar, not the webinar, go to the questionnaire, take less than a minute to fill out and book a call. Or if you need consulting, mentorship of consulting, that link's also in the first comment below. The other day, I needed a Tesla. <laughs> That's kind of funny. The other day I needed an Uber and I ordered the Uber and the girl shows up in a brand new Tesla. And I talked to her. I always talk to the people when I get in their car. I've talked to Uber, Lyft drivers, kind of get their story. She's been driving for Uber for five years. And when I say it was brand new, it still had the drive out tag, the, the, the tag. And she got the uh, Tesla. And I was like, hmm, this is nice. How long have you been driving for Uber? Five years. What made you get a Tesla? She said to save money. She says, I can charge this up in 30 minutes for $8. And that's like way better than gas. All right. And you know, have you been doing Uber full time? She said, no, I just started doing Uber full time the last two years, but I've been driving for Uber for five years. So I, I got a question. What would make a person um, go ahead and get into buying a Tesla, which I did not look at the price, but I, I think she paid like 50,000 for it. So I'm not sure, but number one, she had good credit. Number two, she was driving the car. And number three, she was confident that driving for Uber would make enough money to pay for her Tesla since that's what she does full time. And it really got to me interesting because uh, she's, she says she loves the flexibility and the other stuff. And I was like, huh. And I didn't get into any personal stuff. I didn't ask her if she was married or anything. I did not do any of that. But the economy works for people who are working. For the people who are out here doing the things that they need to do, the economy's working. I talked to someone in Canada on a phone call, just bought a new condo. Not his first condo, he, he, it's an additional one. And one of the things that I'm looking at is for people who want to do the work, it's out there. It's literally out there for the people who want to do the work. And once again, uh, with the pandemic economy, the economy fostered by tremendous government spend, a lot of government spend, a lot of like six trillion to be exact, government spend. And now we're dealing with the real economy. We're dealing with real situations. We're dealing with very real things in the real economy. And one of the things that we have in the real economy is two types of people. We got a group of people who have ideals and things they want to do. And then we have people who actually go to work. And that's who the real economy is working for, the people who actually go to work. I mean, I saw this with my own two eyes. You know, she's driving for Uber, bought a brand new Tesla. It was a Model 3. Uh, yeah, it was Model 3. I'll look up the price and put it in the comments because I, I didn't look it up because I, I was right, kind of blown away at the fact that she was driving a brand new Tesla driving for Uber, which kind of gets you to thinking, is the economy as bad as things say? Because, you know, there's a there's cycles, right? There's part of the economy that's bad and there's part of the economy that's not bad. And we don't really know how big those cycles or sectors are. We don't really know how big those sectors are. But that whole thing just got me thinking. I'm just like, you know, nice, nice lady had a nice conversation with her and everything. 
And um, I was just sitting there like, this is interesting. This is very, very interesting. So one of the things that you would have to do is to figure out where you are lined and which group you're in. That's one of the things you have to do because, you know, once again, if you called me and we had a chat, thank you, I appreciate it. I was talking to a lot of people who know what they wanna do, but they don't have a plan. They don't have anything um, that they wanna do. They, they have nothing that's going on. So one of the things that you should do and have an understanding about is where you fit in into this economy and how you can make money in this economy. This is one of the things that you need to really, really figure out because there's so much to be going on right now. There's so much that's happening right now. And today I was planning, I was working on doing some stuff and it just kind of hit me some of the things I need to do. One of the things I need to do is I need to get back to writing. I need to get really, really back to writing and setting up and organizing that. So that's going to make a return and I need to get to some other things. And one of the things that I am seeing is that people need structure, training, organization and help to go ahead and start making these moves to get to that next level. So one of the things that we're gonna do going forward is we're going to actually go ahead and open up the training and start working on some different kind of stuff. So that's coming up. All right, that's all I got for you guys today. Once again, uh, the mentorship program is almost full. So if you wanna get in there, go ahead, hit those links, book a call, and we will see what we can do for you. All right, that's all I got for you today. I'll talk to you in the next one.